hey there this is custom force back here with a new video and today i'm here with a video on the best audio modules for any android phone these modules will work on all phones running on android i will show you the installation steps of these modules one by one do note that use only one of these modules at a time but before that make sure that you have a rooted phone with magisk if you don't know how to root your phone with magisk then Click the card above or check the link in the description for the video. It's pretty easy. You just need to install Magisk Zip via any custom recovery like TWRP. So starting with the most famous Viper for Android FX module. There are two ways of installing this audio module. Either you directly install it from the downloads option in the Magisk manager. For this you just need to search for Viper for Android module in the downloads option and install it. In case you are not able to find the module, then you can install it manually. Just install the zip as a module for Magisk. For this, first download the Viper for Android zip file. Then go to Magisk Manager and go to Modules option. Click on plus button, select the Viper for Android zip file and flash it. After the flashing is complete, click on reboot button. The link for the Viper for Android module will be in the description. After rebooting the device, you will see a Viper for Android app installed on your phone. Open the app and click on OK button for the installation of drivers. Then grant it the super user access. Now it will automatically reboot. After the phone has rebooted, open the app again. Now you can customize as per your need. If you wish to remove this module, then go to the Magisk Manager, go to Modules option and click on Delete button and reboot your phone. Now moving on to the next module that is DTS Headphone X. Before we move on to this module, we need to make sure that our SE Linux status is permissive. To check that whether your SC Linux status is permissive or enforcing, just enter the super user access to terminal emulator and type in the command get enforce. If you get in return permissive, then your SC Linux status is permissive. If you get enforcing, then it is enforcing. If it is enforcing, then you need to make the SC Linux status permissive after flashing this module then only you can go on flashing Dolby Digital Plus and DTS Headphone X module to make it permissive you just need to flash this module using Magisk I will link the module in the description it works on all phones after flashing the SE Linux permissive module reboot your phone now if you check the SE Linux status again you will get permissive now we can flash the DTS Headphone X audio module. To flash this module, I have switched to my Redmi 4 from my Poco F1. This will show that this module works on all phones. On my Redmi 4, I have the SLNX permissive module already installed. Now to install the DTS module, click on add button and select the DTS Headphone X zip file. Follow the on-screen instructions and press the volume button to start the installation. Press volume down button since we don't need to use library workaround. After that, click on the volume up button to install the newer APK. If the newer APK does not work for you, then you can go on installing the older APK. At last, you will get a prompt for installing the permissive kernel. Press the volume down button since we are already using a dedicated module for permissive kernel then reboot your phone so the installation process is complete now we will test the module after your phone has rebooted open the DTS app now here you will see many options you can customize them and the module is working perfectly if you face any error with the module, then try using older APK. 
Now if you are a gamer then you can use the DTS Ultra module that is very good for gaming. I will link the module in the description. Before I move on to the next module I will delete this one because use only one of these modules at a time. The next module is Dolby Digital Plus. The link will be in the description. To install this module, go to the modules option in Magisk Manager and click on plus button. Select the Dolby Digital Plus zip file and the flashing process will be complete in just a few seconds. You don't need to do anything other than that. Just reboot after flashing is complete. This module also needs SLinux status to be permissive. After rebooting your phone, open the Dolby Digital Plus app. Here you go, the module is successfully working. So friends, these were some of the best audio modules for any android phone. You can try all these modules and you can choose any one for your daily driver. I hope you found the video helpful. If you do, please hit the like button and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.